Okay, here we go. Regular piece of paper, thick piece of paper. Piece of paper starting to get wrecked. You're probably thinking to yourself, you never watched somebody paint a painting using a piece of paper. I mean, anybody can do this painting. Go out and grab a piece of paper and say, Yeah, I'm just going to go paint a painting. My piece of paper is starting to fall apart. The fold is going to split in half. But we'll continue to do it. So the, tonight is kind of like, you know how they do the sipping, what is it, sipping paints? We're kind of doing the opposite of that. It's chug and paint or get hammered and paint. Not really getting hammered though, because this painting would look really sloppy. They would just throw it together. smaller piece of paper. Tonight's um, paper, sheet of paper, we're going to make into a paper airplane so we have that fine uh, tip for drawing stems for these flowers. So it's just like your regular little paper airplane when you were a kid. Here we go, jet fighter, ready to paint. And then maybe if it's heavy enough, throw it off the top of a building and see how far it flies. But then that's littering. So we'll just keep it in this little studio. The next paper airplane looks like, almost like the Concorde, 
except we're not going to bend it. Who would ever think you can paint with paper? Now, I don't have a mall stick, which is a stick that goes across the painting to guide, to hold your hand against the painting without smudging your hand all in the paint. Here we go, we got the mini jet. It's kind of like painting with a fine brush, but it's a piece of paper. Now this is when a mall stick would come in handy. I could probably make one. All right, quick put together of a mall stick. Electrical tape, sunglass holder cut up, and a very large dowel. See how it works out. 